Among Detroit's three pony cars, Dodge's Challenger is an oversized peg that fits in an altogether differently shaped hole than do the Ford Mustang and the Chevrolet Camaro. The beefy two-door is by far the largest in its class, has the only usable back seat, and is the most powerful in 707 horsepower SRT Hellcat form. At least, for now, approaching the end of a long life cycle that began in 2008, another class exclusive boasts trolls, the world's first and only all-wheel drive American muscle coupe. For a segment so typically horsepower obsessed, braggadocio about the number of driven wheels is refreshingly offbeat. Even better for Dodge, it didn't need to spend a lot of money on the effort. The Challenger shares its platform with the Charger sedan, which has long offered an all-wheel drive option. Keen to cash in on its recent double-digit sales growth in AWD models, Dodge simply pillaged its parts bin for the Charger's hardware and bolted it into the Challenger to hitch yet another model to the trend. Thus was born the Challenger GT. We'd like to imagine that the baptism included jeering and tomatoes thrown at the rear-drive-only Mustang and Camaro. Stop wondering why there's no V8. Ford and Chevy could lob a few tomatoes back at Dodge, given that the GT can be hit only with the base Challenger's 3.6-liter V6 engine. Dodge says the aim was to offer all-wheel drive to a maximum of customers. <laughs>